still higher than it should be, but we're making progress. Hopefully, at uh, some point, we'll actually get some real weight loss going. Okay, so as you guys saw, I just had my first workout back, and I am utterly destroyed. Walking up the stairs to get to my apartment just hurt so much. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it. Do not take this much time off before you start weightlifting again. And if you're getting back into weightlifting, please, please do as I say and not as I do. Take it light. Take your time. Feel it out. Increase your volume gradually. Otherwise, you're going to end up sitting on a couch, not sure if you're going to be able to stand up. And that's where I'm at right now. Also, glute ham raises are the worst. I hate them. I will always hate them. I do them anyway. Thanks, guys. Okay, I also wanted to give you guys an update on how my fasting is going. So yesterday, the last thing I had to eat was I had some popcorn at like 8.15 at night. Today, my goal is to go through this entire day without eating anything and not break my fast until tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. It's been a while since I've done a somewhat longer fast like this, but I feel like I need it to get my confidence back up and to feel like I'm really in control of it again. And what I'm doing right now isn't going to be a pure fast or a water fast or anything like that because, one second, I am having one of these. These are just really tasty. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, I just really like them. You get 175 milligrams of caffeine, which helps suppress your appetite a little bit, which is useful when you're on a longer fast. It's got more sugar than I would like. We're at like, what's it say, 13 grams of sugar. But, I mean, 7 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat. It's really not awful for 120 calorie um, coffee drink. Tastes delicious. And this is the only thing I'm having till tomorrow afternoon, so I'm okay with a few calories. And again, I need to reiterate one more time, for anyone who's going to worry that I'm breaking my fast or I'm losing the effects of this fast, by drinking this, you may be right, but the primary effect I care about is weight loss. 
And as I've explained on my podcast before, the weight loss is driven by the calorie deficit and really nothing else. So I'm perfectly okay with drinking this and technically breaking my fast because this will help keep me from eating a larger meal for a while. And it tastes good and I like things that taste good. Remember, live long, live healthy, but most of all, live happy. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe, please.